I do want to show the the solve block. OK, so in MathCAD, so I'm going to go over here to the math tab. OK, very quick overview of solving here on the math tab. There is something called a solve block, and this is what we use to be able to solve uh, or optimize. OK, in MathCAD and we can solve linear systems and nonlinear systems. Now, when we're using a solve block numerically. When we're using a solve block numerically, we're going to go to the functions. OK, there and the functions that we're going to use to get a solution are going to be probably one of these. OK, not all of these, so we're, we could use uh, the find function. That's a good all purpose solver. It'll find a solution to a linear system or a nonlinear system. OK, we we could use LSolve. I personally don't like LSolve because it's limited to. Uh, to it, it puts the it puts the burden on us to define our system using traditional state space form AX equals B, then we can use LSolve. But personally, I like to write the equations in natural math notation, just like I would write them down in my notebook. So for that, we use find, OK? And uh, ODE solve is an ordinary differential equation solver. PDE solve, partial differential equation solver. That's new in Prime 9. We'll talk about that. And then maximize and minimize our optimization functions. Those will maximize or minimize the output of an objective function given additional design constraints and tell you what your design variables have to be. So those are numeric functions okay, for using a solve block numerically. What we're looking at now is a solve block where we're going to ask for a symbolic solution. So here we have a circuit. Just assume we have a basic circuit and we have three node voltage equations and I'm going to draw a box around them so that we can see where one stops and the next one starts. So these are our three uh, equations, okay, that sum the currents in and out of each node of this very simple circuit. So we have three resistors, cup, uh, three voltage sort uh, voltages entering and leaving the nodes, and um, and current, right? So we're summing the currents, and it has to be equal on both sides. So we're going to ask for a symbolic solution, okay, for the voltages entering and leaving the nodes. So here's the solve block, okay? So this solve block, if you follow my cursor, I'm just tracing the perimeter of it. This solve block is, is added by clicking on this solve block button. And so now inside the solve block, we're going to define our design constraints and our design constraints are these three node voltage equations. Then in the solver section, in the solver section, instead of using one of those functions that we just looked at, instead of using one of these functions, we're actually going to use this arrow that points to the right. That's how we ask for a symbolic solution in MathCAD. And I'll show you where that is. It's over here on the math tab. And if we go over here to the symbolics, it's right here. OK, and by the way, while we're here, we can get a pretty good preview of the symbolic engine functionality here. OK, so we can see keywords here like Laplace, Fourier, so we can solve things. We can get, take the Laplace transform of a function f of t. We can take the inverse Laplace transform of a function uh, G of S, for example. We have Fourier transforms, inverse Fourier, Z transforms, and then a whole collection of additional symbolic engine functionality as well. If we're just evaluating something symbolically, we just go right here to this arrow. And so here we're finding a solution. OK, so we're going to use that that uh, function find. We're finding a solution for V1, V2, V3, and then we use the symbolic arrow. And on the right hand side, we have the solution. Now this solution, let me scroll, let me zoom in a little bit. This solution is a three by one vector. We can't really see that level of detail here, but 
you can see the vector notation on the left, okay, this bar. And then on the right, okay, that's our visual indicator that this is a vector. And this vector has three elements in it. The first element, I'm going to highlight it, is, is this one here. And it's highlighted, it's selected. It's not highlighted, it's selected with my cursor. It's very, very faint gray because it's against the blue highlighter. And so that's the first solution. That is the solution for V1. This in the center is the second solution. That's the solution for V2. And then finally down here, we have the solution for V3. Okay, so it looks a little packed because every solution has a numerator and a denominator. So we have we have the uh, the horizontal line going across as well. So now, and this is what I'm going to say next. I love this. This is incredibly powerful. We can assign the symbolic solution to a function. So we're going to assign that symbolic solution, that three by one vector on the right, to a function. Okay, and there's there's this is where we do it. I'm showing with my cursor, with my mouse, and pointing to it, we're assigning that to a function on the left called V, and it's a function of our four resistors. I think earlier I said we have three resistors. We have four resistors, okay? It's a function of four resistors. Then if we come underneath the solve block, we can actually access that function V, and evaluate it for given numeric values for the resistors. Okay, so now here we can define our four resistors, two ohms, two ohms, 10 ohms, and four ohms. And then, and I can show you how we do this, we can call that function V, so I'm just typing it, R1, oh, R1, R2, R3, R4. And we could certainly type equals here. Well, that didn't work very well. So we could type equals here, okay? Or, oh, because it's symbolic, so I can't type equals, okay. So, so we're gonna call the function and then assign it to a variable called voltages and then extract the zeroth component, that's V1, the first component, that's V2, the second component, that's or element, that's V3, and then we can display those on the right. Okay, so now if any of those resistor values change, our voltages will update, but we can see exactly how the voltages are being calculated, okay? All right. Okay, so that is symbolically solving inside a solve block. 